Thank you very much, Matthew, and thank you very much for not editing that as you had threatened earlier. As I stated previously, but reverse mortgages have a very special purpose. There, it's a very special product within the mortgage deal. And what I'm going to start off with right now is some questions. And so feel free to answer, please, because in part, I think this helps people understand what this is truly all about. It's actually a simpler product than what most people realize. So feel free to answer, what is the minimum age for a person to be a borrower on a reverse mortgage? By the way, Matthew cannot answer. He knows too much about my business. <laughs> Under what circumstances is it required for a reverse mortgage to be paid back in full? Move or sell a house or die. Thank you very much. And Chris said move, sell the house, or death. Um, in most cases, the way it works out is that people do sell their house upon moving into assisted living or something similar. That happens about 90% of the time. A person could be... 65 years old, things had gone well at that stage of their life, then they had a loss of income, whatever the case may be, they have significantly less money to afford a mortgage, and maybe their credit has also gone down the drain, which in today's mortgage market is very difficult to qualify a person for a traditional mortgage, unless you have great credit. With a reverse mortgage, I don't care if you make a penny per year or a million dollars per year. I don't care if your credit score is at the top of the scale or the bottom of the scale. It doesn't matter. The way a reverse mortgage is calculated is the appraised value of the home and your date of birth. And that's basically all that matters. I help people with a reverse mortgage. It's because when they were in their mid-50s, they took out a mortgage. Their idea was they would pay it off by the time they retired at, say, age 65. Ten years goes by. But life happens during those 10 years. They don't get to pay off that mortgage. They're trying to retire, and they're 65 years old, but they still have a $1,200 a month mortgage payment. So what do they need to do? They need to figure out to either live a lower standard of living, or they could use a reverse mortgage, pay off their existing mortgage, and have no mortgage payments. So they're literally saving $1,200 a month. 14400 a year that they can use toward their retirement plan than paying the darn bank. You look at what happens after about 17 years, the equity goes to zero. This is all in theory, of course. So now here's my last question. The equity has gone to zero. Does the person have to, at that point, turn their house over to the bank, yes or no? No. 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 Folks have been listening to me. <laughs> no, they don't. As long as the home is still their primary home, doesn't have to be their only home, they don't have to live there 12 months out of the year, as long as it's still their primary home, there is no required repayment of the reverse mortgage. It's still their house and will remain so. They will still will the house to their heirs, and their heirs will never owe more than the value of the house, which is part of the guarantee of this being a government-insured mortgage product.